Hi guys, Liza here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got the look from my band Alice Sweet Alice's music video, Fangs. So if you'd like to see that, as well as some fun behind the scenes and bloopers from the shoot, just keep on watching. I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyes first for this video because it is a very dramatic eye look. Um, pff, call me with the wrong end. I am having a moment today, guys. Sorry. And while I do my eyebrows, I will tell you a bit about this song. Just like I did last week, except it probably made no sense because I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. So Fangs was one of the last songs we wrote for the album, which you, if, if you don't know, if this is the first video you're watching, Circus Maximus, The Modern Bloodshedding. That's my band's album. And it is all about, it's 99% about toxic internet culture. Cyberbullying specifically is what Fangs is about. I think all bullying is despicable and awful. But there's something uniquely awful in my mind about cyberbullying because bullies can use the internet and anonymity to make themselves seem far bigger and far more of a presence than they might actually be. Like one or two people can make 10, 20, 30 accounts and just totally ruin the life of their victim, and I think that's a whole new kind of despicable. Um, and I wrote Fangs to be kind of an anthem. Um, like, there are lots of great songs that talk about how it gets better and, you know, you should stand up for yourself and, and you know, and not be, not be afraid to be yourself. And that's all great advice. Um, don't get me wrong, but I didn't want to write another song like that. There are plenty of them out there already. I wanted to write something more aggressive because so many of these victims feel powerless. They feel like this is it, you know, it's, it's just gonna suck and they're always gonna get beat down. And I wanted to write a song that was like, no, 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 you are powerful. You are a beast and these people don't deserve to take that away from you and fight back. First thing I'm gonna do, I have some new tools that will thankfully make this a bit easier. I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk Petite Smudge Brush. And again, I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics Royal Affair Palette. It was the only one I had at this time that had a good black eyeshadow. Um, you can use any, any products that you have that work for you. Um, these are just the ones I have. My stock is still fairly limited. Um, but I started by making a shape, and I'm just carving out this shape with the black. So ever since I started working on music videos for ASA, I wanted to film in an abandoned place. Abandoned warehouse, abandoned house, abandoned whatever. I think abandoned places are super, super neat. Um, and super, super cool. I really wanted to film someplace gritty, someplace dark, um, just for that really aggressive feeling. I should also say this look uh, is heavily inspired by Miss Heather over at Vessel of Blood, another fantastic YouTuber. Um, go show her some love too, she's amazing. And this look definitely was inspired by one of hers. I will link it in the description below. Yeah, so this is another pretty graphic kind of a look. Graphic in terms of big bold shapes, not bloody and gory. Um, and it's so much easier to do with this tiny little smudge brush, wow! Now I'm gonna go in with a flat 
fluffy blending brush and just kind of smoke out this black a bit. So like I was saying, I wanted to film in an abandoned place and I looked up so many abandoned warehouses, abandoned places in general in the area, that is. Um, my ideal, my number one choice, uh, we never heard back from the gentleman who I believed owned it. Um, never heard back, but probably for the best because I found out that place was kind of an EPA hazard. And so eventually we settled on this school down in Kansas and we filmed there for most of the video. The other place we filmed was in my garage. We rented this like wooden throne from a props place in Kansas City that was super cool, run by a very cool, very eccentric gentleman and his wife, um, who I definitely would love to work with again in future, for future ASA videos, because they have an amazing assortment of props. We had that, and then I had a tablecloth set up as my backdrop. Then we took a bunch of black light paint to it, because I knew I wanted to work with black lights too on this set. I thought it'd be super cool. And I got some UV contacts, which I really loved. And I got UV paint splattered all over me as well. And that was also pretty fun. All right, so I've made this basic shape. Now what I'm gonna do is take my white concealer another small brush because I have them now and so I'm absolutely going to take advantage of them. And I'm going to cut the lid and I'm gonna try and be a little more careful doing this than I was when I actually made this look because I've got a little more practice with cut lids and cut creases now than I had before. Not a lot, but some. But now I'm going to go in to the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, which I love, which was super helpful with this look. I'm going to go into the bright red and my angled brush, and I'm going to pack this all over the white. I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. I'm going to take some more of that red and just really make sure it's saturated. I'm going to go back in with the black now. I had to do my makeup on location for this video, so I wanted to make sure it was something fairly simple and easy to repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So that's kind of the base of the eye look. The liner was also pretty simple. I just outlined um, the shape I had and then took it in and made a wing. Okay, and that's where we're gonna leave the eyes for now. Now for this, I used my same Milani primer, I think. Um, again, I don't remember specifically what products I used in some cases. Now for this look, um, for this video in general, we were not wearing super pale white makeup. So I was just using my normal foundation. This is actually, I think, when I started using this foundation, the Infallible Pro Matte, because I wanted something that would photograph well and the reviews I could find online said this one did. I'm just gonna pounce this carefully. I'm pretty sure I did my eyes first. Um, 
I would advise you do your eyes first for this kind of a look. I'm pretty sure I used my Maybelline Fit Me concealer for this um, because again, I wasn't going for super pale. I will say we are planning to film more music videos. I do want to film at least two more, maybe three if we can get away with it. I would like to film a video for our song Catfish, which is one of my favorites. And it's about exactly what you think. It's about people who catfish. I want to film a video for the title track, Circus Maximus. And I also really want to film a video or guilty, but we'll just see what happens with this um, pandemic situation going on. Okay, moving back into the eyes. I use this trick in my Valentine's Day look. It's not really a trick. Um, it's just a thing, I guess. But I'm taking that same red and kind of making sort of a tear shape-ish. I'm just kind of loosely placing it. And this I was kind of messy with because it wasn't meant to be like super clean and cute. It's meant to be aggressive and in your face. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with black. Where's my little black brush? There it is. And sweep this under the lash line pretty heavily. All right, contour time. I did the same thing, used the same palettes as I used for behind the glass, because it's the only one I had. And again, heavy contour. This is an intense look. I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara now that the under eyes are done because I'm not gonna forget like last time. For highlighter, I'm pretty sure I used strobe again because I don't have like a reddish highlighter. I might have gone into a little bit of illusion, which is like a pinky toned. It looks pink, but it turns kind of purple. I might have gone into a bit of that. Okay, and then again for lips, I used Friday by ColourPop, their matte black, which I love. All right guys, and that completes this look. If you are new here, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss another upload. I post new videos every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below for what other videos you'd like to see me do next. Now, let's watch some behind the scenes and bloopers from Alice Sweet Alice's video for Bangs. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.